arthropods and their near relatives, the limbs have evolved into a range of different forms for carrying out various functions. For example, some of the walking legs in one lineage can form pincer-like structures in a different lineage. One of the first biologists to address this subject was Marie-Jules César Savigny. At the age of 21, Savigny accompanied Napoleon Bonaparte on his famous campaign in Egypt and Syria. This was a military and scientific campaign for establishing French dominance in the Middle East. Napoleon also brought along more than 150 other scientists. Savigny oversaw the collection of invertebrates, which he brought back to Paris to study at the National Museum. He went on to discover that the appendages of arthropods can take on completely different forms. Savigny realised that the mouthparts of all insects share the same appendages. These are the mandibles, maxillae, and a labium. He also recognised that the lower lip of insects is formed through the fusion of a pair of appendages. Later on during the 19th century, various entomologists noticed that the lower lip of mites is also formed through the fusion of a pair of appendages, but a different pair to that which forms the lower lip of insects. These appendages include these inner lobes, which are called the endites. In many mites, these endites are fused together, forming a sort of lower lip. But what about the coxae? The coxae are the basalmost segments of the limbs. The problem is that in mites you rarely see the borders that delimit the coxae, and so you cannot confidently tell that the lower lip of mites is formed in the same way as it is in insects. You can see the border between the endites, but not between the coxae. For the past 120 years, most mite biologists have thought that these coxae are fused together in all mites, and they partly base this on a simple extrapolation of the border between the endites. But there is another possibility, which is that the coxae are not fused together at all, but are instead separate. It has now been shown that in many, if not most, mite species, these coxae are indeed separate, just like in most other arachnids. Mm -hmm.